Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Paula Martell and I am back with y'all to walk you through another warm-up video. So what you're going to need today is a chair of some sort or some type of support and a mat. So let's get started. Our first exercise is crossbody toe touches. You're going to start off with a wide stance. You're going to raise your arms and you're basically hinging at the hips reaching for the opposite foot, just like that. Yeah. We're going to do this for about 10 more seconds. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Come back up. Feel free to Shake out your body. And yeah, our next one, these are lunges. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna bring out a foot and lunge. Wanna make sure we are not passing our toes with this movement. Really pace yourself with this one. We about have about 10 more seconds with this. Great job, guys. Keep it, keep it going. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Shake it out once again. We are now going to do a balance movement. These are called toe taps. Let me demonstrate really quick. So you're basically going to toe tap to the front, side, and to the back. So for these toe taps, we can do a few variations to either regress it or progress it. Um, first off, we can use a chair for support and perform them. Or we can put our hands to our sides or have our arms out. You can either close your eyes or leave them open. And also you can tap, meet in the middle, tap, meet in the middle. But if not, you can either just step forward, side, back, and repeat it once again. We're going to do this for about 10 seconds per leg, beginning now. Three, two... Perfect. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead and begin our other leg. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right. So now we're going to do a kind of a combination. So this is going to be a squat into a calf raise. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a shoulder hip width apart, shoulder feet width apart. You're just going to squat down. Um, you want to squat um, to a degree that you're comfortable with. If you are kind of iffy about this or need some help with your balance, I suggest using a chair for support. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to squat down, lightly tap, and come back up. So we're going to do about five reps for this one. So we're going to squat, raise those calves, two more. And back down. Great work. So now we've done the majority of some lower lower body movements. So now we're going to transition into some upper body movements. So first, we're going to start off with a march. Along with this march, we're going to stretch our triceps just like this.
Make sure we're stretching. Not to the point of pain. Three, two, and one. Slowly release. Bring up that other arm and stretch. This is a good full body range of motion movement. Get all of our major muscle groups working and warmed up. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Wiggle it out. We're going to move on to some side steps. And with these side steps, we are going to stretch our shoulders and our arms. Just like this. Once again, another full body, full range of motion movement. We'll target our major muscle groups. Get them warmed up for your workout. Good job, y'all. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Next arm. Three, two, so our first upper body exercise, we're going to be doing chair dips. So you're going to grab your chair and place your palms at the edge of the chair. You're going to have a slight bend in your knees. And what we're going to do is you're going to slowly lower down. You can track those triceps. The arm should be at about a 90 degree angle to make this harder. You can further extend your legs, but for now, I will just be having a slight bend in my knees. And we're gonna do five reps. Beginning now. And done. Great work, guys. Okay, so now, we are going to transition onto the floor. And our first movement, we're going to do some lateral, I mean, sorry, leg raises. So you're going to lay on your side, have your legs placed on top of each other like so. And what you're going to do is you're just going to raise your leg just like this. To progress this, you can, um, use a resistance band. Um, if not, you could just do standard raises like this. This will be working your hip abductors. And we're going to do this for about five more seconds. Whew, I'm already sweating. Three, two, and one. Great work, guys. Now we're just going to flip over to our, our other side and do our other leg. Five, four, three, and one. Great work. Now we are going to get into a tabletop position and we are going to be doing donkey kicks. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to be in this position. You're going to start off with either leg and you're going to push up towards the ceiling. And when we're doing these, we want to make sure we're not um, going past our, kind of where our torso is. Like, we should be fully aligned like that. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes at the top. Three, 
three, two, and great work. I'm gonna do 10 seconds on the other leg. Three, two, and one. Great work, guys. All right. So now we're going to move into some core movements. We are going to sit and lay on our backs. And we are going to be performing cross body crunches. These are going to be working your, oh, sorry, your obliques and your rectus abdominis. So you're going to plant your feet, put your hands behind your head, and we're going to cross and crunch. So we're going to do this for 10 seconds. Halfway there. Three, two, and one. Great job. So now our next core movement, we're gonna be doing sit-ups, which are gonna target your transverse abdominal muscles. So you're gonna start off on your back, and then you're just gonna sit up. Do about three more reps. Great job, guys. Our last core movement, these are Russian twists. Um, if you have any type of weight, feel free to use that to progress the movement. If not, we could just go ahead and use our body weight. So what you're gonna do, Make sure they all face you. We're gonna lift our legs and do a Russian twist. And we're gonna do this for 10 seconds. Whew, sweating a lot. Okay, ready? And then begin. Make sure you're squeezing that core. Three, two, and one. Perfect. So now we're gonna do um, a couple stretches. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna bend one knee and you're gonna place the other leg like this. And if I have my right leg overlapping, I'm gonna grab my left, or place my left arm over that leg and stretch the back. We're going to hold this for 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Now we're going to go into a butterfly stretch. You're going to place your feet together. Just hold it for about 15 seconds. You can close your eyes during this one and just try and relax and catch some, some of your breath back. After this, we're going to finish off with some cardio. Just lay out all of that energy 
with these last cardio movements and you'll be set for your workout. Three, two, one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do some cardio. Finish off this warm up. We're going to do jumping jacks for our first cardio movement. So you can either do a regular jumping jack or you can just do side step jacks like this for a lower impact. And we're just going to do this um, as fast as we can for about 15 seconds. And three, two, and one. You got this, guys. Last two movements. Whew. Keep pushing. You got this in five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Whew. All right. Our last movement of the entire warm up. Put your all into this. These are going to be high knees. So you can either do standard high knees, but if you want, you can just do kind of like a light jogging motion like this. But I'm going to be doing high knees. I'm going to be doing this for 15 seconds. Finish through and put all of your effort and strength into this last one. And begin. You got it, guys. Keep going. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and release to relax your body. I hope you guys had fun doing this warm up, and I hope you all have a great workout. And yeah, enjoy.